So today we're going to make egg rolls with some ground chicken and vegetables, and then we're going to make some vegetarian spring rolls. We're going to get some, we're gonna use these egg roll wrappers. We'll have some scallions. We also are going to use some shredded cabbage, sometimes known as coleslaw. And I'm also going to shred up some carrots for a little bit of texture and color. For the egg rolls, we're going to um, use some ground chicken. So what we'll do, some ginger and some garlic, is we're gonna put in a, a tablespoon of oil into my preheated wok. Turn that right on medium high, and we will, here we go. That's the uh, ginger, here's our garlic. I'm using my knuckles against the uh, knife to make sure that I'm nowhere near that sharp edge. Put this in, this should sizzle right away. So before that gets too hot, I'm gonna put in about a quarter pound of this ground chicken. You can use ground pork, ground beef, shrimp, lobster, whatever you'd like to do, just chop it up. So this will cook pretty quickly. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. I'll probably put in maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. We want this to be a relatively dry mixture. And again, that's on medium high. So that chicken is cooked. I'm going to add some shredded carrots. We're just gonna soften those up a little bit. And to that, I'll add my shredded cabbage. Save some for my spring rolls. So I'm just going to soften this up a little bit. I don't want it to be really soggy. So I'm gonna turn this heat down now. And we're gonna take this filling out. We're gonna let this cool off just a little bit. So there's our filling. Let's go over here and let's check our oil. I've got about maybe an inch of oil in the wok. I want the chopstick to bubble and you can kind of see that that's happening. I've got to turn it up a little bit. I'd like it to bubble a little bit more. So while that's heating up, let's mix up some duck sauce. We have some homemade applesauce here, some crushed pineapple, and some balsamic glaze. So in this instance, I'm going to put in equal parts of duck sauce and pineapple. We'll just mix that together. I'm going to add a tablespoon of balsamic glaze. So if you don't have balsamic glaze, you can use a mixture of brown sugar and cider vinegar. Red wine vinegar would be pretty good as well. That's ready. So our oil is heated up, bubbling. So let's take a wrapper. We'll take two or three tablespoons of the filling, we'll put it right across the center. I'll use a baseball metaphor. I'm gonna paint around the bases, three fingers. The water is the glue. Then I'll take first and third, and I'll just bring them together right over pitcher's mound. They can overlap like a quarter of an inch. I will take home plate, I'll bring it up behind pitcher's mound, give it a little tuck, and then we'll roll that right up. I'm gonna make sure that second base is nice and wet, because that is where the egg roll will seal. So we've got two of these guys. Check this again, you can see the bubbling. Before we put the egg roll in, we're gonna flatten it a little bit. We're gonna slide one in, and you can see that it just starts bubbling right away. And when the edge has turned light brown, it's time to turn it over. So that was probably about five seconds. The second side takes even less time. Pull that right out. So that cooked really nicely cut them at a 45 degree angle. They make a great scoop. Yum, fresh and tasty. Normally, you have to buy spring roll wrappers separately, but what we found out, I'm gonna take three here and run them through the thinnest setting on a pasta roller, they actually become spring roll wrappers. I'm gonna cut off about an inch so that it fits here. I'll put this right through, but we have and three wrappers. So we'll start off with a touch of oil. We'll do our smashing again. I'm gonna put in cabbage. And I'm gonna put in a few scallions. 
after those. You want this to be pretty dry, and maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. So let this cool off a little bit. While it's cooling off, we will cut our spring roll wrappers into squares. And the easy way to do that is simply to fold down and just slice. We'll take a tablespoon or so. Let's paint around the bases, first and third, home plate, and then we'll roll it up to second base. All right, let's do this. So you really want to make sure this is nice and nice and warm. See, it's bubbling. So flatten these, slide those right in. You can see it starting to turn brown. So we'll just turn that over. So here's, this one's done. Spring roll, egg roll. Spring roll, yum. So that's it. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.